Anybody come to praise the Lord tonight? How many's ready for the word? Come on, clap your hands tonight and welcome back to the Fairlawn Church of God. Bishop Steve Board, praise the Lord. Put our jogging shoes on. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, worship is important, church. So many people go to church and just stare at a pulpit. But I thank God that we can get into the presence of Almighty God. This is not a show, people, but it's preparing us for a time when we're going to get around the throne of mercy and give him praise forever and ever through the ages. Hallelujah. Let us rejoice in him. Let us be glad that we're here. Anybody glad you're saved in the house? Come on, raise your hands and thank God for salvation. Hallelujah to God. Praise your holy name. Praise your holy name. I worship the Lord. I worship the Lord. You know, things, uh, strange things sometimes happen in the spiritual realm. And every morning I get up to pray and I like to walk. I walk over 30 minutes a day and just get out in nature. And I was walking and the Spirit of God got on me and I began to speak in tongues. And here come a dog chasing after me and growling and a carrying on. I just kept speaking in tongues. I thought he was going to run right on my leg, but honey, he just bypassed me. This is the truth. I kept speaking in tongues. He stared at me, I know, for five minutes while I kept walking. I thought, there you go. <laughs> Reminds you when the devil comes tearing after you. And when he does, you need to kick in a praise. Amen? And when you kick in a praise, demons have to flee. Did anybody come to have church tonight? Praise his holy name. I know a lot of people say we don't have time for revival, but we better make time for God. Because I'm going to tell you, God's looking for faithful folk. Amen. Will he find any faithful when he comes back? Anybody in here want to be faithful? Praise your holy name. I tell you, God's good, isn't he? Let's look at Psalm 37 and Glad to have my pastor and his wife and some of the people from my church here tonight. Praise God and all the rest of you that showed up, and we're glad you're here. And we've been feasting off of that service we had last night. Praise God, the move of the Holy Ghost is real. If you want to stand for the reading of the Scripture, we're going to read Psalm 37, verses 23 through 26. The Bible said, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delights in his way, though he fall, he will not be cast down. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. He is ever merciful and he lends, his seed is blessed. Anybody feel like you're blessed? Rake your hand toward me, lest ask for the anointing. Oh, God, I praise you. I can't do nothing without you, God. I know, Lord, that this revival has been ordained of God. And I know by the power of the Holy Spirit, you can bless those that showed up tonight. Lord, we're not here to be impressive. We're not here on an ego trip. but We're here representing the King of kings and the Lord of lords an ambassador that preaches the word of truth. Bless us in the name of God when we leave this house. Hallelujah. May we say we've been in the presence of Almighty God. Holy, 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 holy. I feel a, I feel a spirit of worship in here. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah to the name of the Father. Praise your holy name. How many knows he's worthy of your praise tonight? Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. You can be seated. Praise your holy name. I want to get closer to God. Notice what verse 23 steps, the, our steps are ordered by the Lord. Do you know that every time you get up out of your bed, God has a plan for your life? Do you know that if you're a child of the king, you're covered by a divine protection? Come on. I would hate to think that I go through my day without God in my life. 
I'm so thankful, hallelujah, that when you step into his glory, he will overshadow you with favor. Come on. We're going to talk a little bit tonight, stepping into your destiny. The word says sometimes when you read the Psalms, I like the Psalms, he leads us beside the still waters. How many knows that's a refreshing time? That's a time that you need to get by yourself and talk to the master and say, Lord, I just want to thank you for all your blessings on me. Praise his name. He is the soul restorer. He is our energizer. Come on. A mind regulator, a peace bringer. A good man in this verse is referred to one that is confident. One that is strong, one is bold that will talk about the love of Jesus. The idea here that the most powerful and the most influential of men and women must be guided and supported by the power of God. I don't know how people make it without God in their lives. You know, there's so much tragedy in the world today. That's why so many people take a revolver and take it to their ear and pull the trigger because they don't think that there is no way out. Otherwise, if men relies on self, church, you're going to fall and our lives should revolve around the Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. I go through the house praying. You know, I don't claim I'm, I'm so super spiritual, but honey, there's warfare out there and you better plead the blood of Jesus every time you get in your vehicle. You hear me? Because you look at the news and you can see the tragedies that's going around around us in Roanoke and Blacksburg and all around us. You need to say, Lord, I just pray a hedge around me. Glory to God. And no weapon formed against me is going to prosper. And I praise him for that because he will walk with you in the darkest of your days, in the lowliest times of your life, because he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am your constant companion. You know, I can't see him, but I can feel him in this house. How many knows the presence of the Lord is here? Come on. I can feel him in the atmosphere. Anybody feel him? You know, that's why you reach your hands up. Come on. Lord, I want to feel your glory. I want to step into your destiny. I want to step into your Holy Ghost. I want to feel your presence, Lord. I don't want to leave here like I came in Jesus' name. I need overflow in my life. Hallelujah. I need you to cover me from the top of my head down to the sole of my feet. I want the Holy Ghost in front of me. I want the Holy Ghost behind me. I want the Holy Ghost on my right side. I want the Holy Ghost on my left side because I can't do nothing without Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name. Glory to God. The Bible said, though man falls and stumbles, come on, he will not be cast down because the Lord is there to pick you up. Why, if you are walking in the will of God, he will uphold you with his hand. Come on, isn't it wonderful to reach out and touch the hand of Jesus? Isn't it wonderful to walk in his presence? I know, you know, when I've got my grandchildren around me and we're in a big place, a mall, they want to grab your hand or I grab their hand. You ain't getting away from me, boy. Come on. Come on. You know, you hold on to their hand for security. And that's walking hand in hand with Jesus. Have you walked in hand in hand with the master today? Have you stepped into his fullness? Come on. Some, come on, church. You've got to take those steps of faith. Come on. We, they were saying that song, All of Me. It's going to take a step of faith to get into that place where God wants you to be. Hallelujah. Get into his presence. Come on. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Somebody go ahead and do it. Come on. This is, no one, this is no ordinary church service, honey. God wants to fill us to overflow. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name. How many knows tonight he's merciful? Has God been merciful to anybody in here? He respects us. He loves us. Praise God. This is true to all generations. Hallelujah. You know what? We are so blessed here, aren't we? Because we are his people. 
the sheep of his pasture. Hallelujah. There is no need for us to beg. Come on. If we appropriate, hallelujah, the smallest part of the promises of God, we cannot consider ourselves forsaken nor forgotten because God is with us. God is our supplier. Come on. Hallelujah. He's all I need. I said he's all I need. Hallelujah. They used to sing an old song in the old church. If you need a blessing, tell him what you want. If you need a healing, tell him what you want. Guess what? You don't have to dial 911. All you have to do is say, hey, Jesus, look over here. I need some help right over here. I know, hallelujah, I've been down today, but Jesus, I need you to come over top of me. I need you, hallelujah, to bless me. By faith, I'm stepping into your blessing. By faith, I'm stepping into your promise. By faith, hallelujah, I know, hallelujah, that you're gonna hold my hand through the darkest of days. I know you're gonna lead us, praise God, to safe places. Hallelujah to his name. John 14 12 through 14, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believes on me the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do because I go to my Father. And whatsoever you ask for in my, somebody say it, name, hallelujah. What did he say? That will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. God's got it. Don't wring your hands. Don't go grab the nerve pills. Come on. Don't grab a sleeping pill. You know how you can go to sleep? Quote the 23rd Psalm and the devil will knock you out. You know why he will knock you out? Because he don't like any scripture being quoted. Come on. Amen. This is our power of attorney. This is the promise to every believer. And if you ask anything, that's what the word says. Come on. In my name, I'm going to do it. Oh, hallelujah to God. We as believers, we are covered in something that the world don't have. We are covered in power. Does anybody like the power we felt in here last night? Hallelujah. Folks, let me tell you something. Our churches as a whole are throwing the Spirit of God out the front door. We need to engulf the power of God once our church of God was founded on divine move of God in an old school house, 1898, when the power of Pentecost fell on a hundred people and they were so far back up in the woods that nobody heard about it. We, we are the oldest Pentecostal denomination in the world. Come on. Holy Ghost fell on those believers before Azusa Street. And hallelujah. You know why they said that we want this? Because we're tired of just dragging to church. Come on. We need something. Hallelujah. We're going to feel when we get up in yonder. Hallelujah. I tell you what, it's not all in feeling, but it feels pretty good when the glory gets on you, doesn't it? Huh? It makes you feel good, praise God, when the Spirit of God favors your life. How many knows that we have an anointing in Christ? Hallelujah, because we are part of the anointed one. His name is Jesus. Luke 4, 18, Jesus spoke these words, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering a sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised. That's the scripture that God gave me when he called me to preach. Very scripture. I was a manager of a big company in Beckley, West Virginia, we had a 1,000 employees, and I was the operations manager of that company. And under stress so many days, one day in my office, I just thought it would be nice if I could just get to go to church some because I was working second shift then, first shift. I mean, I, I very seldom got to go to a night service. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you what, I was sitting in my office, and I thought it would be awful nice. And guess what? God said, I'll work it out for you. Huh? 
I didn't know he was going to work it out by getting me fired, but I got fired. <laughs> Brother Board. Yes, I got fired because a company in Canada took us over and they got rid of all the rich managers. No, I'm not rich, but the ones that was making the money. Mm-hmm. And I got so frustrated because a little 30-year-old whippersnapper fired me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I go home and I'm so white bent out of shape, I'm going to go back there and beat the fire out of him. And you know what? I was so upset the Holy Ghost spoke to me and says, you sit down. He spoke to me in plain English. You sit down and shut up and listen to what God wants to tell you. Uh-oh. A voice in my head said, what did you ask me for two weeks ago? You want to get out of this place? You want to start working for God? Now I'm making a way. You may think how in the world or is it going to happen, but I'm the God that owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Well, glory. Well, glory. I said glory. I thought, my God, what am I going to do? Hallelujah. Guess what? I stepped out on faith. Within one month, I had 16 preachers to call me. They didn't even know I was preaching. One guy from Virginia was heading to a convention, and he said, Brother Board, I had not seen you in a long time. What you doing? I says, well, I'm unemployed right now. He said, good, because I want you to come to my church for revival. My, my, my. I said, my, my, my. Honey, sometimes that step is frightful. But you step out and let God lead you. He's going to make a way when there seems to be no way. You hear me? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Mm, Blessed Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. That first year that I stepped out in faith, I told Pastor Markham and his wife yesterday, I preached 323 sermons that year. Come on. That's a lot of sermons, ain't it? (laughs) Hallelujah. I'd go to camp meeting in Beckley, and them little evangelists says, I want to get close to you. I'm not bragging, but honey, you step out in faith. Come on. Something's going to happen to you. Uh, We'd have an evangelist breakfast, and we'd sit down, and they'd get over and say, we want to sit with you. Mm, Honey, let me tell you, I thought I'm a nothing. I'm a nobody. I'd gone through some horrific stuff, and I just, you know, I did. I had gone through some horrific things, which I'm not going to talk about tonight. But I had lost about everything after that. But honey, let me tell you, the state bishop called me into the office because I wanted to get my exhorter's license. And the devil said, you ain't going to get no such stuff. You're a pitiful looking sight. Honey, I went in there that morning trembling. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. The devil said, you ain't going to be approved, blah, 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 blah. Brother Griffiths was our state bishop then and I walked in that office and he's got a big gruff voice anyway and looked like a big bear sitting behind that desk he said come on in here brother and I went in there and he said brother I gotta tell you something the Holy Ghost woke me up last night after midnight and said you get them papers out and you read about that boy what he's gone through and he said brother I don't know how you have survived what you've gone through but I'm gonna tell you what the Holy Ghost spoke to this man last night he said burn your bridge behind you cause God's gonna use you mightily in the church <laughs> hallelujah I said hallelujah Woo! Glory! He got to speaking in tongues. He picked me up in a big bear hug. I thought, my God, hallelujah. Let me tell you, that's what you call favor. Don't you be afraid to step out in God's plan tonight. If you want you to get out in the aisle and worship, get out of your little box. You hear me? Don't you worry about what somebody's going to say about you. Honey, if they go talk about you, they ain't got the good stuff anyway. Come on. Honey, if you want to get out in the blessings of God, you wait out in there. Glory to God. I don't care if they go stare you down. You say, Lord, I want the Holy Ghost in my life. I want the Spirit of God in my life. I want to be used by you. We're living in the last days. We need to be testimonies of what God can do. We don't need to succumb to this liberal thinking because God is for us and if God be for me who can be against me? Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. I think I feel a run coming. Well, glory to God. Come on, 
Well, shama mama shana da da bahori akanda da masai. Glory, hallelujah. He mama hashatora mahai. Glory, glory, glory. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Mm, have your way, sweet Jesus. Have your way, sweet Jesus. He mama. Woo, hama mama ma shatai. Y'all feel this? He da bahori akota da mahai da masai. I tell you, the power of God's in this church, folk. I'm going to tell you, praise his holy name. He's here to bless us for a purpose. We didn't come here, hallelujah, just to be seen. But you showed up tonight because you're hungry for God to move in your life. Step out into your power. Step out into your destiny in Jesus' name. Praise your holy name. I said, praise your holy name, God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise. Glory. Woo, glory to God. I don't know about y'all, but the power of God's in this house. Do you feel the electricity? Do you feel any kind of an anointing? Come on, my man, my hush will talk about how y'all are See, you know what? The devil don't want this to happen in our churches. Because I'm going to tell you what this does for you. This puts boldness in you. Come on. Hallelujah. You stand up in the devil's face and say, come on, devil. I'm loaded with ammunition. Hallelujah. You're not going to take me down. You're not going to take my children. You're not going to take my finances. Y'all are my son of a guy. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. Woo. Woo. Shama Maha Sai. Shama Maha Sai. He the Bohoya Katada Masatai. He Maha Satai. Mana Maha Shatora Bakai. He Hama Maha Tai. He Kanana Bohoya Sandai. Shana Laba Shatara Bohoya Kai. Ha ha ha. Hama He the Maho Shatara Bakai. I feel the Holy Ghost saying, You people, the way you worship here, if you continue to do this, I'm going to shake this property. The Holy Ghost is saying, I don't see too much of this in the Pentecostal movement anymore. But hallelujah, if you will, get on your feet and you take a stand for God and the move of the Holy Ghost, I'm going to cover you. I'm going to bless you. The glory of God is going to fall on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody praise him. Woo! I can't help myself. He bahashatai. He shama mama sai. He shama mama I don't know about y'all, but God's doing something up in here. Woo! Listen, listen. Get your eyes off a man. You are not powerless, church. You are full of the glory of God. Step out on faith because you can do some damage to the devil. I don't know about y'all, but I can't hardly stand up up here. Woo! Somebody raise your hands. Somebody say, Lord, fill me. Come on. Lord, fill me to overflow. Woo! I don't know about y'all, but I feel something coming on here. Let God arise. Let the enemies be scattered. Come on. Let God arise. Let the enemies be scattered. Who needs a Holy Ghost in here? You just say, Lord, I need the Holy Ghost. Lord, I need your spirit in my life. That's what we believe in. We believe in the move of the spirit. Hallelujah. Yeah. Honey, let me tell you something. 
because we got power in the name of Jesus, that ought to give somebody power to rejoice in here. Honey, you ain't no weakling. I don't care if you don't feel like praising God. Get somebody to help you get up on your feet. Come on. I'm not trying to work out nothing here. But the Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, I desire to move from the top of this place to the wall over here, to this wall over here. He's God on this platform. He's God back at that door. He's God over here in this corner. He's God all over this floor. I know God is God. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. God help us to obey God. Lord, help us not to knock the Holy Ghost. Lord, help us not to quench the Spirit. Woo! Honey, this is not a sideshow. This is the power that fell on the day of Pentecost. Let's start acting like upper room people. Come on. Honey, they took the gospel plum out in the streets. 3,000 people were saved. Y'all go ahead and start playing some music. I just feel a double portion night coming on. I'm not halfway finished, but God said, I desire to fill my people. I desire to touch my church. I desire, hallelujah, to anoint my people. Does anybody want a fresh anointing? Come on, if you want an anointing, step up here. Come on, come on. If you want a fresh, a double portion of the Holy Ghost, get up here. Come on, my na 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 na. Come on. Don't you sit there and try to figure this out. I want you to be filled to overflow tonight. Glory, glory, glory. 